Malaysia Airlines does not expect to break even this year, as external volatilities and the protracted US-China trade war continue to roil the global economy. Group CEO Isham Ismail says 2019 will remain extremely challenging, with the competitive environment expected to continue to tighten, driven by overcapacity in the domestic and regional markets. He explains that this is largely driven by the price-sensitive leisure market which hurts yield. The national carrier reported today a 2% increase in first quarter revenue on increased available seat kilometres. It did not provide the revenue figure. Looking ahead, it says forward booking looks much stronger compared with last year as the airline continues to strengthen its sales channels and build on existing products such as MH Explorer. The airline will also look at building revenue via other methods beyond traditional ticket sales, including deeper collaborations with its partners. EcoWorld Development Group has announced a major tie-up with Power China Group, which will see the two firms jointly bidding for infrastructure projects in Malaysia. EcoWorld President and CEO Dato Chang Kim Wah says the firms have yet to decide on the type of infrastructure projects that they want to take up. He says Power China has a long track record of building dams and hydroelectric and solar power plants. The plan is to utilize the China company's expertise and also conduct technology transfers between the two. The two companies also propose to jointly develop Phase 2 of Eco Business Park 5 in Puncha Alam. Measuring 117 acres, this phase has a GDV of 850 million ringgit. It is expected to create up to 15,000 new jobs. Canada does not intend to take back plastic waste that originated in the Maple Leaf State and is currently parked in Malaysia as it cleans up its act at home, Reuters reports. A spokesman for Canada's Environment Ministry, Gabriel Lamontagne, told the Newswire there are no plans for Ottawa to pick up waste in Malaysia. Additionally, the ministry has yet to receive information about any shipment of waste from Canada to Malaysia. It has reportedly reached out to Putrajaya for details. Last month, the government said it would send up to 3,000 tonnes of plastic waste back to the 14 countries it came from, including the United States, Japan, France and Canada. Mastak Minister Yo Bi Yin said that 60 containers of trash had been illegally dumped here under false declaration and other offences. Malaysia has already returned five containers of contaminated plastic waste back to Spain. Seven Eleven Malaysia Holdings is unaware of any reasons that might have led to this deep fall in its share price this morning. The counter had fallen by 15.3% or 23 cent to 1 ringgit 27 before Bursa Malaysia suspended the proprietary day trading and intraday short selling of the convenience store operator's shares until 8:30 a.m. next Monday. In response to a query from the Edge, Chairwoman Lina Tan said it is business as usual at 7-Eleven Malaysia and that she was not too concerned about the price volatility since it was in very thin trade of 500 shares. She added that the counter had rebounded soon after. 7-Eleven Malaysia ended the day unchanged at one ringgit 50 sen. KNM Group's subsidiaries have bagged supply jobs in Nigeria and Iraq worth the collective 27.71 million ringgit. In the first contract, KNM unit FBM Hudson Italiana will design, fabricate and supply air cooler heat exchanges for a petroleum refinery and polypropylene plant in Lekki Free Trade Zone Nigeria for 4.55 million US dollars or 18.97 million ringgit. The job was awarded by Dangote Oil Refining Co and Dangote Petroleum Refinery and Petrochemicals Free Zone Enterprise. Meanwhile, another subsidiary, FBM KNM FZ Co, will be supplying replacement heat exchangers to Basra Gas for Kor Al Zubair's gas processing plant located in Basra, Iraq, for 2.09 million US dollars or 8.74 million ringgit. The contracts are expected to contribute positively to KNM's earnings for the financial years ending December 31st, 2019 and December 31st, 2020.